Hello everybody, this is Uwe from Equilot speaking here. Today I'd like to talk about my latest video called Frame 1, which you can see on YouTube or on my Vimeo channel as well. If you want to follow along, you need a version C4D 11.5, and you can download these little C4D files here, which covers up the first 20 seconds of my animation. And let's, uh, well, let's jump into C4D. I can show you what happened here. So um, let me show you the scene, a quick overview about the scene here. And what you see here is I built a Studio L. Just these, uh, you just need a spline and you extrude it, and then I put it into a Hypernode object to smooth it out a little bit. And I also applied, you know, three soft boxes from the Grayscale Gorilla Light Kit Pro to it. Just to light, uh, to light my scene, and just when I build a cube, I have some uh, just a camera applied to it, and also some keyframes for the movement of the camera. And I build a cube, and then I applied, uh, you know, uh, some twists and some scatter objects from the deformers to it. So let me show you how that works. Well, you can do it with, you know, any version of C4D, I think. You don't need any special version of it, uh, you know, it's not an external plugin or something like that. Just build an object, here in a cube, for example, and then you apply, you know, let's see here, a twist object to it. Just drag it into it. So don't be scared, I'm using a German version of C4D because I'm a native German speaker. So uh, once your uh, twist object is applied to the cube, you can tweak, you know, the values of um, the object and play around with it. So it starts twisting and deforming. And then you can add another deformer to it. Let, let's say I'm using here the scatter object here. Just drag it underneath your twist object here, apply to that, like here. And if you start to tweak the values for your scatter object, you can see it's falling apart into pieces, so you can just increase, you know, the end size of it, like this, and then you start to creating these, you know, randomized um, forms. And this is what I did in my project here. So, at this point in time, you know, the keyframing starts to deform my object here. Whoop. And then it's... Uh, at this point in time, it's, you know, a pyramid that appears. You know, just uh, put some keyframes into the scaling of your pyramid object and then it pops up. And it's falling apart like the cube. So the camera is getting close to it and it twists and then you know these um, this little polygon object appears in the end of my animation. Well, and then I, I rendered out the TIFF sequence to do some compositing work in After Effects. I'm using After Effects After Effects um, CS4 at the moment. So and this is the final project in inside of After Effects. Let the final composition with, uh, you know, the great track from Garrett apply to it. And it's about 2 minutes and 13 seconds long and, you know, there's a whole bunch of, you know, fragments of different animation just put together here in a final, final composition. And well, let's go into our little fret animation here. So, this layer at the bottom here is um, the TIFF sequence out of C4D. I just imported it into uh, After Effects. And I applied different adjustment layers to it. Well, this layer here at the bottom is pretty naked. There's no effect applied to it. It just, you know, these black and white rendering and I used an adjustment layer with an optic compensation compensation filter applied to it to create some to create some transition effects 
in the beginning and in the end of my animation here. I used it through the whole piece. So if you watch the video you can see you can see these kinds of transitions here and there. And I also use adjustment layers like this. It's just with you know a mask applied to it. And then I use the offset effect to shift it and the transform properties um, to create further manipulations to it. So, and I used adjustment layer because uh, I would just want to slice the picture. You can do it with a mask, so and everything else, the rest of the picture, isn't affected by the effects that you use in, a, in an adjustment layer. So, um, that's a pretty nice technique to create some effects to it and to create the final look of my animation I also used a whole bunch of uh, adjustment layers so let me show you what I used here I have this uh, adjustment layer which is um, filled with a star glow effect to create some fringe fringing and a photo filter to colorize it a little bit just a little bit green inside and I also have this vignette which is just you know a black layer with the ellipse mask and let me, let me solo it here so this is my vignette that I created for that and just decrease the transparency for it to 40% and also very important here uh, is the lens lens effects here lens flares that I created so let me solo it here. I can show you. It's this little thing here. And it's made with the optical flares effects from Video Copilot, which is a very nice plugin with its own interface, and you can, can create your own lens flares here. Uh, like this. Mm. Then I applied another adjustment layer with an ellipse mask and some um, some blur to it to smoothen out the edges. Then I had um, an adjustment layer with the twitch plugin applied to it to make some you know to bring some life into the picture with RGB fringing and some blurriness here and there. Um, and in the end, I just put a noise layer on top of it to, you know, to, to give back some graininess into the picture. Because you know, when you render out this stuff from C4D, it's, you know, it's way too clear for me. So I used these bunch of, or these collection of adjustment layer through the whole animation. If you want to have further information about uh, the music, which was made by Leisure, you can go to the Human Workshop site and have watch out for uh, the tutorials. And there is also a collection of VJ clips that I created, and you can download them for free and play around with it. So have fun. Um, that's it for now. For any further questions, please leave a comment, and uh, maybe there will be more. Uh, walkthroughs of the project in the future. So guys, thank you a lot for watching the video. See you, bye bye.